Hey everybody, Richie Yip here. Uh, continuing on with our Escaping Cross-Eyed series. This will be part three, how to regard. This is just a different variation from part two. It's just a different uh, um, position on how uh, Stefan's gonna maintain top cross-eyed. So let's just say that Stefan's passing my guard. And once he's passed, what is he wanting? What does he want? He wants my neck. So if he's able to get my neck right away, I, this sucks. Cross side defense begins as soon as he gets over my knee. So can we just do that again? We'll do it really slow, Stefan. He's pushing that knee in. So as he descends, already my hands are controlling him. See, he's blown past my hands. But you see how I'm using my elbows? I'm using the bulk of my forearms to keep him at bay. You see how Stefan's more or less square to me like he's going for the classic chest to chest position. He wants my neck chest, Stefan, get my neck. I need to go and make sure that he cannot get his elbow underneath my neck and his shoulder close to me. I'm, I'm, I'm keeping him at bay with my forearms. But further, but furthermore, I'm also keeping my feet on the floor. I'm lifting up my hip and then I'm moving my right shoulder, left shoulder. I'm basically moving my head like it's the tail of a fish. From here, when I feel comfortable and I have as much distance as possible, I'm now gonna quickly move my feet, maybe both of my feet, so I can bridge into Stefan. You see how I wanna lift up his head? Move my hip out, there's my regard, right? But the key thing is to move is to move my head and to move my shoulders back. I am pretending that my shoulder blades are feet and I am rolling my shoulders. I'll do this on the floor without stepping. Yeah, thank you, brother. So do you see how I have to pick up my hip ever so slightly? This is not correct. Just a little bit. And then you see how I'm walking on my shoulder, right side, left side, but you see how I'm moving my head at the same time. If I do this a little bit faster, See, I almost look like a tail of a fish, right? And I actually say this to my students. I'm like, fish tail, fish tail, yelling and pointing at them, right? To move their head as if it was a tail of a fish. This is critical. And also the, being able to move when you're on your back is a critical skill for jujitsu and one that is often neglected, right? So uh, Stefan, can I borrow you again? And let's do this from a different angle. How about right over here, Stefan? Is this okay? Yeah, he's just past my guard. Check, right there. He wants my neck, get my neck brother. Oh, this is gonna be so much harder. So as soon as I can, can't use my hands. Unfortunately, I missed that opportunity, but I can still use my forearms. I'm just gonna bench press him, right? Keep him away, right? No, I'm gonna make sure his arm is as far away, as straight as possible so that Stefan is close to my hips. How do I do that? Not just with my hands, keeping my feet on the floor. Create that distance, super important. When I bridge, I don't do this. Straight up, I wanna move his head as much as possible. So you see, I move my feet. All right, do this. Pick up my feet, move over here, bridge into Stefan, so his head moves. Bring my hip away, enter in with my guard. Can we just do that, just move back a smidge, pal. And let's do that one more time, he's a little bit faster. He's passing my guard, catch him, fish tail. Bridge. There's my guard. All right, so you see how interceptive it is? I don't wait until he locks down my head in order to hit that cross-eyed escape. Give it a try. Let me know what you think in the comments.